about someone firing a gun, shooting an arrow, or throwing a stone at a target, it is. It's the trajectory of the missile, and anyone who gets in the way gets hurt. They're in the line of fire. But when you apply it to working situations, it's not nearly as straightforward. Let's look at some examples to see what we mean. These are reproductions of events that actually happened. What could be more simple than getting into a minibus? Some people are already on board, and there's one more to get in. How can there be a line of fire here? Well, the man getting into the seat behind the driver discovered there was. Someone in the rear didn't realize his hand was there and closed the sliding door. Result, a broken finger. Here in bad weather, a tugboat is helping to maneuver a vessel alongside a platform. They need a line to secure the vessel, so a member of the deck crew opens the forward hatch on the forecastle deck to get one from the locker. Do you see any line of fire? As he pushed down on the counterbalance bracket, his fingers were trapped between it and the securing lug. He fractured three of them. Two men just walking. But beside them, there's an immovable object. And it's being approached by an irresistible force. In this case, the forklift operator glimpsed their high-vis vests as they walked behind the container on the forks. He stopped in time, but they were definitely in the line of fire. This breast line has been passed to the mooring boat, but as the slack is taken up, it catches on the fair lead roller. As the others slacken the line to free it, the individual on deck tries to attach a running line to the breast. Getting caught in the line of fire, that is, being struck by or caught between two objects or entangled in machinery, can result in serious injury or even death. Watch out for potential pinch points. Know how to avoid being in the line of fire. If you're not concentrating, if you're tired, distracted or rushing the job, your attention could wander. You may not realize you're standing in a place where you could be struck by or caught between objects that might come together. You're in the line of fire. The same thing can happen if you're not properly trained or prepared for the task. Or if you're working alone or visibility is poor. Don't work on unsafe or uncertified equipment which doesn't have the right safeguards. If the job involves moving or rotating machinery, stand well back. Wear the correct PPE. If you've got long hair, tie it back. Take off any jewellery and don't wear loose-fitting clothes. Make sure there are guards in place to prevent contact with any moving parts. Before starting a machine, know how to stop it. Be sure you know how the machine works and keep your fingers, hands and limbs well away from its moving parts. Can the machine be effectively isolated? Can it be locked and tagged out? When involved in lifting operations or near moving equipment, wear high visibility clothes. Be careful handling slings and strops and follow the correct procedures. If they're suddenly put under tension by a lift, your fingers can get caught between them and the load. Remember, don't place yourself in the line of fire. Always be aware of the sea state. Rolling and pitching can make opening and closing doors, hatches, lids and gates hazardous. Stay alert, keep your balance and don't stand between moving and fixed objects. Are you prepared?
Hey there. Subscribe to my channel. And also press this bell icon. So you never miss any new updates cause whenever we upload new video you will get a notification on your phone.